Hello, 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 all my beautiful, amazing, awesome, fantastic machine heads. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the brand new, old, brand new, old, brand new, old Fury Machine Gaming Farming Simulator 22 Let's Plays. We are on the, well, on a newer map for me. I've never played on it. Uh, we are on the Borneath map. It is a um, UK-based, foreign-based, I would say. Uh, you guys voted on it. You guys wanted it. You guys did it. We started in farm manager mode with 1.25 million, and I bought this little thing over here, which is kind of cool. Uh, my farm came with a um, farmhouse but didn't have a trigger, so I put one of these little benches down and check this out. <laughs> it's the neatest thing. I can sleep right from here. <laughs> and then you start right here. You so you start inside your like little mini house. It's kind of neat. Um, this didn't get a very good review from some of the map reviewers out there because it has some FS19 textures. But I'm going to start playing specifically on those kind of maps because I'm getting real tired of people giving bad reviews. Who cares? It's got FS19 textures. They look good. You know, like these hedges. Yeah, they're all right. But do, how, long are you, how often are you going to stand here and stare at a hedge? You're playing. <laughs> so, but this is going to be a, a realistic-ish series. We're going to try to play as within the constraints of at least the game speeds. Um, and that way I don't have to worry about coming people coming back at me saying, Oh, well, you should have done this and you should have done that. And you should have done this. And if you're playing realistic, why aren't you doing it this way? I've always told you guys that I play realistic uh, because I play, I'm a real life farmer in real life and I play that way and I only play the way that I know. So just because, and I've always told you this, just because I do things a certain way doesn't mean you guys do them. So anyways, I took about five, if you can see up in the left hand corner, it is Thursday. I don't know if that shows up on the recordings or not. Uh, one will find out later today. Um, it is Thursday morning, 1228. Um, in the morning, uh, we are playing 6x speed two day months where our videos are literally only going to be about 30 minutes long. I'm not long. I'm not going to do the hour videos anymore. Um, unless I decide to, uh, there's only one series that I'm going to do that with. And we're going to, we're, in, we're in some things right now as far as working out time frames and things like that. So, um, that will be worked out, but my personal videos will only be, um, 30 minutes or less now it's going to be like getting a pizza going to be able to come in get out so what's going to happen is i'm going to play for three three hours in game and then i'm going to play three hours off off camera and then three hours and three hours so you guys only still only have two episodes per game month to watch and we can move this along so let me give you a farm tour um where i am let me give you a shot of the pda first this is a pretty decent map um as far as we own fields two three and nine we have one cornfield ready. We have, uh, and then next month, the barley number two will be ready. And then the next month after that, number three will be ready. We are playing with seasons, but we set it up so that we can start making pig food right away. We own a flour mill, but it's over there somewhere. I got to still figure out where to get it. Uh, I still have to tear or not terraform, but paint all this in. But this is where the realistic ish. This is not even close to realistic. I have two cow pen or two pig pens on here. Look what they hold. Five thousand each. I did not do that. I downloaded the mod. And ooh, look. All right. We got one right away. Awesome. And then this one. So we have ten thousand pigs on our farm, and we're gonna play it um a little bit different than what we've normally done. What we're going to do is we're still going to use pig food, but uh, I, we've come up with a different reason. So what we're going to do is every single month, as long as I have the money, I'm going to buy. Um, we're going to start right now purchasing uh, 100 of the biggest ones. There is six months, six months. Uh, let's go pink in one and black in another. Um, we got to put, oh, we're going to put 100 in here because it holds 5,000. Okay, and then shebang, shebang, and then this one again, and then select and buy. Now that has there. We're not putting uh, straw in here. 
we're going to we may we may just for the sake of having it um but these pens are cool these pens are exact same size as the original one so on this map um on field outside of field two there are two pig pens that start each of them hold 370 pigs anyways so you could have you know a pretty decent sized pig farm to begin with um and then your main farm actually is down by field 33 um that's no by field 45 i'm sorry by field 45 in every game mode you do start with all the equipment and all the sheds but as you can see I was able to sell all the sheds and everything on this map, and I did all the rest of it. I built all the rest of it. Um, you do start with all the equipment, though, so you do have to sell that off. And what I did is I sold it off, and then I went right back to the... I put back in the $1.25 million. Then we... Well, what I did do is I did cheat a little bit in the sense of I bought field 2, 3, and 9 um, to go with this farm. Normally, you start with the farm that's by the blue dot by 45, and you start with 45, 17, and 36. So I said, well... We normally start with three fields, so we're going to start with three fields up here, too. So, we're going to go ahead and we want to go black ones in this one, I think. Yeah. Now, every month, unlike, we're not going to wait for them to breed. Every single game month, so um, not in September 1st, but October 1st. We're going to buy 50 more and 50 more and 50 more and 50 more every month because what I want to do is when they reach two years old, so when we reach August, it'll be one year. When they reach the following August, we want to start selling 50 pigs every single month is what we want to do until our pigs are gone. By then, they'll be reproduced and they'll be all crazy, but um, to get us started a little bit. All right, so let me get you up in the air and I'll give you a... Uh, tour of the farm real quick and then we'll get busy farming okay as you can see we have a huge slurry pit we have a huge manure pit we have lots and lots of drive um i did put the and we have a little mini grass field how cool is that so when we get bored we can come in here and mow it and bale it up and take care of it um but you guys know how it's gonna how it works always uh you're gonna lose the game sounds but you're not gonna lose me and i am i am recording so that's good uh, as we get started, there are a few things that I want to tell you guys and go over a few things with me. Um, there's our house. He comes on the farm. Uh, we start with one shed for our um, harvester and things like that. Pig pens. You guys saw that? One, two, three sheds. Um, and our bales. If we do decide to do bales on this, we're going to sell them right away. But I think we're going to do loading wagons and sell it right away. Um, we own this field that field straight ahead and that one now the one with the big rock around it that's corn that's ready to go right now so we got to harvest that then next month this one will be ready or it's not corn it's barley right yes i went barley so i downloaded a corn header for nothing <laughs> typical fury um and then next month this one will be ready so in september then in october this one will be ready if we make sure that we get that one over there done and everything set on it in one month, then we will have a nice rotation going where you'll have harvest, harvest, harvest. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Um, let me go over a few things real quick with you. I did take some time off um, for some personal reasons. Uh, I was getting burned out. I was getting tired um, of situations that were happening as far as my let's plays go um nothing with anybody else so please don't ask me if it was anybody particular because it wasn't um it wasn't anybody particular it was me i needed some time off um and that's all there is to it uh we all get to that point where we need um let's buy and then i'll finish my story let's go Let's go. These are decent sized fields. These are like 12 and 13 acre fields. So let's go the case. We're going to go a mixture of different kinds of uh, equipment anyway. So nobody sit here and say that um, we're using specific things and things like that because I'm not putting up with that anymore. Getting tired of, of hearing all the the drama. Um, Actually, I need a bigger one than that because I need the longer header or the longer pipe. Um, no, because I think 
what is the longest I can get a pipe on that? I think, because I want to be able to unload it. So let's do this one here. I did put the store deliveries right there, as you can see. And then, nope, I got to sell that back. I am so sorry, because I need, I don't want to use a header trailer. Well, we could, I guess. It doesn't matter. I still got to buy a tractor and a trailer, though. Uh, let's get us the header next. And let's go, like, 7.4. Yeah, let's go, let's go an 8.5. And then we'll get us a header trailer to put it on. And it's the B... NB40, I think it is, right? NB... Yeah, it's this one, I think it is. Yeah, it's this one. There. All right, so let me get back into this while we load this up here. Um, Yeah, I just was at the point where I was feeling like I was overwhelmed. And, you know, a lot of people are noticing that I do put a lot of pressure on myself because I try to play as realistically as I can. Um, and it's frustrating when people... Um, they, they call you out on it and they start to say things like, you know, normally I wouldn't let it bother me, but lately this last couple of days, um, it's just kind of built up to the point where um, it kind of got to me. That's all. That's all it was. And so I needed to back off a little bit and let's get him. There we go. That should pop right up on there. Should. There we go, and then we'll take him over to the field. Um, but yeah, that's it. Nothing major, nothing, anything going on with anybody, and so I'm not going to um, sit there and bleed on that it was, because it wasn't. It was 100% me. 100% me. Moi. All right. Uh, you start to try to change who you are to uh, to make yourself into something that you're not, um, and it's just not fair. Ooh, this is a tight fit. Tight fit, everybody. I think I might have put the fences a little bit too tight. I did put some undulations in the uh, in the road, so when you drive, you can't go 900 miles an hour, as you can see from in cab. Look, <laughs> you can't go through here. That's real life. That's the way our front path is. It's like if you try to like mow it even with a ride lawnmower, it's like no, 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 no. drives you crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, we got big things coming and I'm excited. I'm not going to give anything away yet because I totally haven't uh, figured out what I'm doing. Um, I just had to find myself again. Um, so going forward, everybody, please, 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 you know, you can ask for help all you want, but just realize that Fury is, um, not going to be as willing to give as much as I used to. And it's absolutely no offense to anybody. But what happens is, um, you know, I get, um, I jump in head first and I put myself out there and I end up changing who I am and changing my play style and um, changing, uh, trying to change who I am as far as content creator, as far as um, who I, you know, it just, it's weird. You know, I like to play a certain way. I like to play slower. Um, I don't necessarily like to play 100% um, uh, real slow because I was doing that to try to teach you guys, you know. Uh, let's see if we can get him worked around. Um, so I like to play almost like a medium pace. Um, there comes a time when you, um, you have to go a little bit faster. And I think I just put so much pressure on myself to be this realistic channel. Um, instead of just harvesting it, the, the speeds that they give you and dealing with it. That way there's no pressure on myself. Um, I think I'm going to try to set him up on course play. And go from there. I hope it works. Hope it works. We'll find out. First time you, first time me. <laughs> but yeah, just um, going forward, you know. Um, I got a great email from a really good friend of mine. Oh, and I want to take a few minutes here 
and I really, 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 really want to just give one shout out. And that, and and then the shout outs for the most part are going to stop. Um, I want to give a shout out to Grizzly Bear Sims. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, my friend, my mentor. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome back. And I really, as you guys can see, there's no hit markers on the hedges, so that that makes it a plus. Um, just welcome back, Grizzly. Welcome back. Do your thing. I'll watch every video. You know me. Um, and thank you for the support of emails. Thank you for the support of calls and messages and things like that. It just means the world to me. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Make sure that we can get this pipe out without having an issue. Yes. Okay. And what I mean by that is making sure the header's not too big. Okay. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to get them into the field. Just a little bit. Hopefully the strokes. Okay. Okay. Did I not turn that on? Did I not turn it on? There it goes. Okay. So now we're gonna bring this up. We're gonna go first waste point. We're gonna go no course. Uh, let's give him two headlands smooth clockwise. Overlap by nine percent. If it is a lot to overlap, we know that, but that's okay. That's okay. This this series is going to be about me being um, back to basics. Okay. And I think he can go. I think he can go like that. Here we go. And we'll get off this. And we'll shut this down. And we'll go buy us a tractor and a header. So, let's say we bought a case uh, harvester. Let's buy us a... Uh, let's buy us a, uh, medium tractor, but let's go a, we haven't done a JCB in forever. Um, cause a couple of people are coming out with Massey, uh, let's plays and I kind of want to stay away from that. So let's go with 235. You know what? I also have not done a Vultra series in a while, in a, a while. So let's see, what can we go with? 265. Oh yeah. Let's start with the 230 uh, right off the bat. Reverse drive. How much is that? Uh, yeah, because I got a mower that I actually want to use for reverse drive. Uh, front loader attacher. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. All right. So, and then we want to go color. Let's go main color. Let's make this. Let's make it. Let's see. New Holland blue. Yeah, let's make it New Holland Blue just for something different. Okay. That's a big chunk of it. Now I want to, I got to get a trailer and I'm going to get a, let's get us our little thingies over here. Um, This one's cheap. Um, Let's get him, that's 150,000. We want to do it a little more realistic. How much does our harvester hold? Which reminds me, he's at 36%. How much does he hold? 10,000. So if we went 30,000, we could unload him three times. Yeah, let's let's not make it too unrealistic. Let's do, we are going to use some crazier stuff on this, but um, yeah, because we can go to that one if we need to. Let's go the 30,000. Okay, and then we're going to make this one. Let's match this with the tractor, just because it's kind of cool. Here we go. I think the Lumpkin is a little bit different. Eh, pretty close. All right, so let's go unload them. That's what we're going to do. We got about another hour yet. Uh, it's going to be a nice, relaxing Let's Play, um, and I want to make it farther. I'm getting real tired of jumping maps and doing things, and but getting back to my story, I think my issue and it's always been my issue and i do have people in my corner that are trying to look out for me and trying to stick up for me and you know fury tends to take everything wrong and i always tend to say and do things the wrong way and um it's just not good for the soul so <laughs> see i put too many humps in there um but i can't 
like when you when I start doing things like crazy challenges and um, making videos for challenges, even though it doesn't hurt anybody, um, it end ultimately ends up hurting me because it spreads me too thin, and it makes me. Um, oh shoot! I forgot. I forgot. You know why don't you guys remind me this stuff? You gotta go like that. There now he'll go back to zero. Should. Yes. Um, it just makes me start doing stuff like crazy stuff. Like I made a couple of challenges recently that were absolutely epic challenges. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely epic challenges. But they're so far obtainable that on a content creator standpoint, you can't do it. Like you can't physically do it. Um, and that I have to keep in mind too. Um, it is absolutely imperative that I get farther in my let's plays than I do um, whatever because when you're doing crazy challenges you get caught up in the challenge itself and then you end up getting burned out so I have to take some advice from a couple of friends of mine and a really good friend of mine who's a family member um, I just have to back off I have to guys I have to have to have to for Fury's insanity's sake I have to Look at that. That nice blue works good with the red case. See, we're just gonna we're not gonna worry about brands and things like that. He's already at 80%, so. I just want to get him around the corner so that he can make it around the corner. Or can I can I get to him? Ooh. That rock is in the nicest place, isn't it? Nope. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Make it, make it. Because once he starts turning around and making that weird, don't oh, get him, get him, get him here. I'll cut him off. I'll cut him off. There. Come on. There. Yes, I'm in the crop. Everybody knows that. But I got to get him around this corner so that I can keep going. There. Now I can get him out of the way. Nice. I like the little rock formation. Um, we do have everything turned on, including seasons. Uh, we have uh, rock collecting, herbicide, something I've never done before. I usually turn it off, but we are not playing that game. We're going to play this uh, with everything turned on that we possibly can. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys leave comments and do things and I'm still going to be my me I'm going to be upbeat I'm going to be up upbeat myself but I I just have to back off um, with trying to do too much that's all that's all I wanted to say and thank you for listening to me um, say my piece and get me back um, and giving me my space and not bothering me um, I really 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 appreciated that that was nice um, cause it's Thursday now and I haven't recorded since Saturday. Um, and it was, you know, when you're used to going five, six, seven days a week, it started to be like, I can't watch these TV shows anymore. I <laughs> can't do it. So I was playing a lot of truck sim. I was playing a lot of truck sim and I was playing a lot of truck sim. <laughs> oh, let me say that three times fast for you guys. Um, but what a gorgeous map lighting wise. What a let's let's start going it. And like I said, um, there's a lot of room for them to turn around. He's not gonna need more than two headlands. He's not even gonna need more than one. Um but yeah, let's let's uh Um get this back. Let's get back to basics. Uh I don't even know my flour mill is up by uh you see up at you go past 19 up by field 39 there. And there's two dots there. One of them is my flour mill. I put it away from my farm. I took some advice on that one. Um, but, yeah, let's just let's just go back to playing farm sim and enjoying ourselves and bringing it and bringing back the gold. Let's bring back the gold. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then what I'll do, like I said, is I'll play three hours with you guys. And then I'll play three hours off cam, which is only 30 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back with you guys for 30 minutes, and then I will play th the last 30 minutes. Now, there are going to, and I'll try to get it to where you guys get to see some dark farming. And there will be, because we're going to play from 6 to 6 every day. So, and it, you guys will still only have to watch two videos per game day, which is kind of cool. You're not going to be stuck. 
and obligated to um, watch too much. You know, like what I think my problem before is I was just trying to do too many episodes and I got to try to keep it to um, where's he going here? I'm going to empty him now and then I'm going to go drop this in the flour mill and get our flour going. Sorry, buddy. I have to cut you off because you tend to just run away with me here. See if we can find our flour mill on camera here. Uh, is there a way out of this field? I don't know. I just came this way. <laughs> first time you, first time you. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you get to that point. Um, a couple of my... I think for me a lot of it was it hit me harder than I realized when Eustace Farmer passed away. Um, because you could always text him or you could always call him or you could always email him. Um, when he got close to you, you could always talk to him. And the same thing with, uh, with Grizzly Bear Sims. And I got to that point with him. Um, but then when he took some time off, I just, um, I basically said I wanted to give him his space. I hope, can I get out of my farm here? Where, where do I go to get out? <laughs> oh, I don't even have a silo yet. But we're going to dump this into the, the grain bin here. Um, and I hope I can find my way out of my farm before I get too, too uh, lost. Fury and his fences. Uh, yes, I can. Right out here. You got to go this way to get out. I forgot. Look at, see how I made it? Like, realistic? I wish there was active active mud. this way and we're going to go down and dump this in there and then by then we'll be pretty much wrapped up everybody I will drive back myself because I figured the reason I did the 6x is because normally at 5x you uh, you play two about two and a half hours for a game day anyways um, and everybody does the 5 everybody was doing 5x so I said well I'll just go one tick faster um, and then we'll uh, I hope this is the right way everyone there should be a little turnaround up here. When I was doing the flyover, I set it up this way. Yep, there it is. This is a little round. This is a really gorgeous map. I still can't believe. I, it it kind of frustrates me as a content creator because everybody and their brother watches those mod reviews and map reviews from certain people, and they grade it. And when someone gives it a two point something out of five and they they never tried the map or nothing, they just did a they have their their scoring criteria, which is absolutely great. Hey, that's them. That's on them. But then people like normal people, even me included, I'll see it. Oh, two out of five. I'm not playing that. Um, but for me, I got on this map and I was like, hmm, this is the second hidden gem that I have been on um, in the week. Well, in the last two weeks, actually. Now, I could have just drove right in there. We will move those trees so that we can drive right in there. Okay. And then we'll jump him in. And we'll get this activated. We're starting to make uh, barley flour. Let's see. It's going to make seven pig food for everything. We're going to... Um, I think we're going to... Yeah, let's just, we'll, we'll try to sell it if we can't keep up because we don't have to sell the pigs. This is the only thing we got. I usually do chickens and I usually do everything else, but this time um, I'm just doing the pigs. So we don't have to sell the pigs for two years. So right now the only thing I have to make money with is flour. Um, and do we start with a loan? No, we don't start with a loan, which is fine. He's going to not be there. By the time I get back, but nice little, like, I mean, yeah, look, it's got hedges from FS19 on it. So what? That's what I looked at. I was like, so what? And you notice I picked the hedge or the fences that matched the, fe the hedges outside of, or the fences outside of stuff. It's nice. And our fuel's right across. So we technically don't need a silo, 
because our pig food is going to come back um, to our farm. All right, let me get this situated here, and we will wrap this up right here. Let me shut him off. Stop him. Stop time. There we go. All right, guys and gals and everybody else who's watching this, uh, we have made it to the end of episode one on a Borneath map, my pig empire. Um, we are going to do that. Uh, it's going to be huge. And I, I want to see if I can actually get 10,000 and see if I can support them. And if I can't, I can't. It's not the end of the world. Trust me. I'm done playing that um, uh, failing challenges because I can't complete them. They're too big. I'm just going to play this game, and I just wanted big enough pens to where I didn't have to worry about it anymore. And on that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video. And on that note, uh, please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will, I love, love, love you all, and I will catch you all on the flip side.